On this Friday morning, Irene pushing away from the state of Florida and towards the East Coast. Take a look at this system. Still a very large system. Right now, the outer band starting to affect portions of Georgia and the Carolinas. We still have one outer band, that feeder band, that's bringing some rain throughout portions of the Keys this morning. Otherwise, we are waking up to dry conditions. Now, as of 5 o'clock, it is a Category 2 hurricane, so it has weakened slightly, but it is still a very strong storm with wind sustained at 110 miles per hour, latitude 29.3 north, longitude 77.2 west. The pressure is at 942 millibars. It's moving to the north at 14 miles per hour, and it's located 420 miles south southwest of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. And the forecast cone has the system basically headed right towards the coast of North Carolina and intensifying back to a Category 3 system by tomorrow. And as you can see with the close-up cone, we are expecting the system to basically hug right over North Carolina, basically very close to Cape Hatteras. If the system stays on this track, because remember systems never travel in a straight line. Regardless, though, the intensity of the system will be a major Category 3, and it's going to bring some very strong storms for our friends throughout the East Coast. Then it will continue to push towards the north and affect the northeast as we go into the end of the weekend and early next week. So they need to prepare. As we go to the other area we're watching, it's Tropical Depression number 10. Wind sustained at 35 miles per hour. It's about 620 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands, very far away from us, and it will not be affecting land. Could be our next tropical storm, though, as we go into the weekend. By early next week, we'll be able to say goodbye to it as it fizzles out over the Atlantic. For us back home here, we're waking up to dry conditions. Broward, Miami-Dade, and down by Homestead. It's the Keys that are dealing with some very fast-moving showers throughout Marathon and Long Key. Some light to moderate rain for you. Otherwise, temperatures are in the upper 70s in Fort Lauderdale and Miami, as well as Marathon mid-80s in Key West. You're waking up to 77 in Pembroke Pines as well as Kendall, 78 in Pompano Beach. The wind straight out of the west. That's going to bring us the heat and the humidity today. Our wind flow moving in anywhere between 7 and 12 miles per hour. With the outer bands of Irene close, we could see that chance of showers throughout the morning, but by the afternoon, drier air will push into our area from the Gulf of Mexico, and it's going to be a hot and humid day. We'll be flirting with records by this afternoon. If you're headed to the beach, not a great day to do any swimming. There's a high risk of rip currents with Irene still being fairly close. It's going to be another windy day. A small craft advisory if you're doing any boating. Miami-Dade and Broward, the bay will be at a moderate chop. For you in the Lower Keys, coastal flooding due to the new moon at high tide. And we'll see a moderate chop for you doing any boating. Highs today, 94 in Miami as well as Broward. We could be flirting with a record in Miami. And in the Keys, the upper 80s. Lows will be in the mid to upper 70s and lower 80s. We will flirt with record heat throughout the weekend and even as we go into Monday of next week. Have a wonderful weekend.